I spend my time working on my backyard garden, which is our public lands. And it's for everyone, and it's not just for me. I'm Jim Madison, I'm Restoration Director with Wild Earth Guardians. When I first started working with Guardians back in 2002, it was me and one or two other people working on a project. Now we have seasonal staff, including New Mexico a Youth Conservation Corps group members, and you know we can approach 20 plus seasonal employees. Wild Earth Guardians focuses on watershed restoration. We're not necessarily doing conservation, but we're repairing damaged landscapes. It's basically trying to return these ecosystems to a more natural state. We have a lot of human disturbance around the planet, and where humans have come and gone, they generally leave a lot of destruction behind them. At this point, we're, we're running out of pristine landscapes to try to protect. I like the idea of going back to these damaged lands and working with them and with the ecological conditions that are present in them to be able to produce a functional landscape again after severe degradation has occurred. It's important because we need to take care of our environment. We need to ensure that it's here for the next generation or more generations to come instead of just letting it all disappear and degrade into whatever. We have to show that we care about it. Our work spans the gamut of ecosystems in the Southwest, from the deserts to the Rio Grande Valley to the conifer and alpine forests of the mountains. We'll go in there with a huge excavator and chainsaws and it just looks like a war zone. We'll follow that with a planting crew and we'll do some plantings of native vegetation. Year one, it can look pretty disturbed, but by year five, you can't tell. By year 10, it, it looks amazing. I'll come in beforehand through the life cycle of the ground. We'll do annual photos. You know, I'll try to get back to a site at least for the next five or 10 years. Really, what shows change is the before and after photo. We have photos on the Santa Fe River from 1997. Every time that there's an aerial satellite image that's taken, we've gone back and documented that. That before and after photo shows what things look like beforehand and what the potential could be for not only the system that we're working on, but other areas that could use restoration. A lot of them, you, you have no idea that we work there. It's incredible. I really find a lot of reward in seeing change in a large scale healing of our landscape and something that my children and my children's children can go and visit and say, my father was part of this.